Hey guys, Michael Sharp here and today we will look at my personal project management system that I have set up using getting things done from David Allen. So in case you haven't read the book, I strongly suggest you go ahead and read it because it is pretty damn good. It really helped me getting a lot more stress free and really just literally get things done. I mean, yeah, the title says it all. Uh, for me, this was really a life changer because very often I felt stressed just because I had so much stuff in my head that I knew I had to get done at some point and this was just blocking me. Nowadays, I just fill it into the system, let the system almost take care of it. No, obviously not. I still need to do the work, but it's more organized. I feel less less stressed and I have a much better time. So I am assuming that you know at least a little bit how the system looks like. Literally just go and check it out if, if you haven't read the book or at least go and check out a summary. There's lots of material in the internet about how more or less this looks. But I would say really just do yourself a favor and take the time to read this book. If you're so stressed that you don't have the time to read the book, you're probably a very good candidate to actually read the book. Okay, so just let me very quickly go over some of it, just very roughly. I mean, the, the main points I wanna do here is basically make sure that everybody can follow what I'm gonna show later on, how I integrate the system. And essentially, the base of the system is we have a bunch of lists. I mean, that's about as basic as you can get. And obviously different lists have different purposes and I would say the most important one actually is the concept of an inbox where you just take everything you have in your head and you put it into the inbox and this is this will be true now as into the future so anything that comes to your mind and you feel like oh I, I should be doing this or oh maybe I forgot about this inbox that way it's right out of your mind and it's not in your mind and you can focus on what you're actually doing so then there's there's a few things like is it actionable and then it will go to references or not uh, if it is an action it takes less than two minutes go ahead and do it and then for the action items there's a bunch of different categories where for example maybe it goes into a calendar maybe it goes into a different list maybe it's something that you're waiting for i, I don't really want to go into too much detail here literally read the book just the main the main thing is literally it has an inbox and then there are different types of lists that will essentially help you keep everything organized. Now, the actual lists will probably be different for each person. I'm just going to show you now my setup. And most importantly, the tools I use to actually keep those lists. Because in the book, he often talks about paper or something close to paper, PDAs, whatever. I feel like nowadays we live in a world where everything's digital. I mean, you get so many emails every day. You get, I don't know, you think about something while you're in the car, at dinner or anywhere. And the way we, we try and solve this needs to be in a fashion where you, you can use the system anywhere. And for this, I found Trello to be the most useful. Trello has all sorts of apps on all sorts of devices and you can literally access it anywhere. Now, let me show you my, my basic list here and hopefully this doesn't look too scary right now for you. I have the, the core element is my inbox and this is in here. So any card that gets created comes through my inbox and there are essentially two ways I can create them. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this later. So once they're in the inbox, I usually do the, the last element that comes into my list is the first one that goes out and that's how I like to process stuff because usually that's just what's in my mind and when I am processing my list that's how I do it. So here actually as you can see I, <laughs> I have what I'm doing right now here in second place and this one I have already done and I kept this in here to, to demonstrate essentially because Trello has this really nice feature where you can archive things, just press C and it's out of your list. 
if you are doing something that that takes longer time I mean this just took a few minutes so I kept it in here like this video I would put it in today and it would stay in here so my today list is the second most important list I have this is essentially all the stuff I would like to accomplish today I'm gonna say like because most of the time I'm rather optimistic with my today list so it's more of a like urgent type list like hey I really got to do this then I have my next actions list which is all the stuff that I need to do at some point but not right now not today probably not tomorrow so that's stuff I just need to keep track of then I have my waiting for list anything that comes to my inbox that I can delegate don't have to do myself or that other people are responsible for goes into my waiting for list and on the other hand anything that is some sort of reference material some knowledge stuff anything that's just kind of nice to know and I want to keep for the future goes into my archive and my archive here is Evernote now the way I do it is I have a list that is synced to my Evernote account and the reason why I like this is because it is much easier to organize organize those type of notes in Evernote and kind of take them out of the system because imagine if I was ever trying to search my my archive for something and I have all and I'm searching through all of the all of the notes here that I have in my Trello or all of the cards then I, I wouldn't be able to find it, especially if it gets really large and in Evernote and I have more control over things and I can actually at some point process them really delete out the old stuff keep the new stuff in and this is why I like to put it to Evernote plus it's free I mean all of the tools that I'm using here are free up to a certain limit then the other important item is my calendar here I just keep some dates not everything a lot of things I do don't really have a due date some do uh, in here essentially also sync to my Google Calendar that way I get a notification that way I have a nicer overview and there's stuff and there are things that, that don't go through my project manager like birthdays and who knows what else that is just in my calendar that doesn't really need an action that's, that's more like let's just say silent reminders so I don't really need to be aware of all the time so that's my main list and if we scroll to the right we come to a few more here are my someday maybes this is stuff that I would really like to do at some point but very likely don't get the time to do also those I actually sync over to Evernote because at some point I just want to clean it out have a new list again basically and, and really just keep the more realistic ones in. there's some that are clearly unrealistic but I just want to keep a reference just in case I would ever want to need them there they are and uh, the other thing is I have a projects list which is just basically an overview of all the things I want to try and accomplish and in general I also mix my private life and my work because essentially it's one life that I try and manage and that's mine so everything goes in there and there's one more thing which is my tags list this essentially I did for things that I want to search at a later point and essentially want to have grouped and I know it's going to be a bit all over let's just say I have a ideas tag in, and then in Evernote when I would look for idea I would get all my ideas and I wouldn't actually have to remember all the ideas I just look for ideas and then I'll find them so that's my main list and possibly it's almost too much for some people obviously if, if you have a lot of work and a lot of tasks and a lot of projects to manage then you'll, you'll get a bunch of more more boards where you have more lists uh, I won't go into too much detail I mean obviously at some point you need a project list with lots of stuff in there the one list that I do want to point out is a locations list and the locations list I personally like because this is essentially tasks that I can't do while at the office or I can but it's better somewhere else of course and and for example I have one list that I call my iPad list this is just some free time activity reading uh, whenever I have some extra time I I just look at that list and then just read that it's great for when you're waiting somewhere or I don't know bathroom or wherever else you like to read and my errands list that I keep also this is just stuff that I need to buy and um, yeah or, or wish to buy the other one that I think is also fairly nice is the people's list this essentially is stuff that you yeah that you keep for for all sorts of people and in here I just have a bunch of people that, that I interact with 
on a regular basis and I just want to remind myself of what I want to talk with them or what I want to talk with them in the future. That way I don't forget anything. And this is just the broad overview of, of my list and I think the covers is fairly good. There's one small trick I actually do because this is my personal stuff and I also have a business Trello account or I guess not a business Trello account, an account I use for work. And what happens is I like to keep those two separate because there I'm more managing and I'm assigning people stuff and it's a lot more cards, a lot more boards. But what I like to do is I keep two separate accounts but both of my accounts have access to my personal list but only one of my accounts has access to my, to my business lists. And the reason why I do this is because if I go on my, on my mobile phone into my Trello account, I don't want to have to scroll through 37 like boards and try and find mine to, to basically work with it. So this is mine and, and I know this is only my stuff and that way I don't mix it up. I don't have to look while I'm on my mobile phone and I'm trying to find my locations list to, to, while I'm at the supermarket. So this is why I think two accounts makes a lot of sense. One that you only have for your stuff and one where you essentially mix because then you can move around the cards from the other account. All right, let's go and check out how we actually sync that and how we, we yeah, managed to, to put it to Evernote. And the key here is uh, Sapir or Sapir. I'm not sure how to correctly pronounce that. Anyway, what you do here is essentially Sapir works on a trigger and actions type model. And, and what I have here, if we go and check this one out and actually the icons already says it, if something in Trello happens, do something in Evernote. And let's just check out this SAP. And in this SAP, essentially, I think it's fairly straightforward. You pick uh, essentially when this happens, when something happens in Trello, then do something in Evernote. The one thing you need to do is you need to verify or I guess connect both of your accounts. That's fairly straightforward. And then you basically have a trigger list and in here or a trigger in here you can basically pick what you want whether you, it is just a new card gets created or whatever and then afterwards you have the information that's going to get synced you have to pick that uh, one comment is this one here i have the name twice and the reason for this is as you can see here it's required sometimes i i only have a name basically meaning a title in my card and not necessarily a description in my card to make sure that it doesn't uh, give me an error. I have this in here twice, so that's a small one that, that could happen. And then afterwards, once you set everything up, you go ahead and test this. You have a bit better description and more images on my blog. Check out my blog to actually set this up. Maybe this is a bit too fast, so sorry about this. And in Evernote, what I do is I have my basically filing system, my inbox, and in here just comes all the stuff that goes into the list. And I don't have to do this manually, obviously. This is why we use SAP here. So if you see here, the last one I had is the WordPress hosting that I checked. And if we go back to our, to our Trello account, that's the last one here. Then the same thing works also for my Google Calendar. I I sync my Google Calendar, essentially same thing here, if, if a new card goes into that list, I would, it would automatically get synced into my Google Calendar. Uh, also you need to connect your Google Calendar account, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you pick the trigger and essentially, yeah, you pick the trigger. <laughs> So once you pick the trigger, you have to set the settings for what data exactly gets taken over and where, which calendar it goes to. You can pick all this according to your settings. Um, just one thing, the due date I put into the start and end date. And what Google Calendar is actually going to do, it's just going to create you an event at the start time for I think 15 or 30 minutes. I'm not even quite sure, just a really short event, but it's enough. And in Google Calendar, I suggest whichever calendar you put this on, you have some sort of reminder. As you can see here, I have mine uh, labeled as something up front and reminder. That's a story for another day, how to do smart reminders in Google Calendar. That way you get emails when something's going on, you need to know. 
Okay, and this is it. And if we go back to our, our Trello account, here we see one on May 19th. And in my account, this was, this was put here. And that's really it. So if, if I was actually working with this, one thing to note is you cannot go in here, create a new card and set everything up. Although I guess this may work too, but I do know that the trigger on Zapier reacts on new cards. And if the trigger happens while you're editing a card, it may be unexpected stuff. So what I usually like to do is, is Essentially, if I have something for the calendar, I would write it in my inbox, whatever this is. It should anyway always first go into the inbox and then you decide what to do. So I would write some, some fake date, whatever. And in here, I would go and set a due date. Let's just say tomorrow at 10 a.m. Sounds good. And I would just drag this over and I would also actually order this. So that way I'm sure that it's taken care of if um, yeah, I have this chronologically ordered. And same for Evernote, if I wanted to archive something, I would just drag this over here and leave this in here. And the nice thing with Zapier is every, every few hours it will just sync for you. You don't have to do anything. Literally, this is a, this is a set and forget type thing where you, where you know it will get synced over. The only thing you have to do once in a while is essentially clean up your system, meaning all the notes that are synced over, you can then just delete. Zapier will not go ahead and delete your stuff in Evernote. It will just put them over and set them there. Also, if you make changes, you would have to set up a different Zap that essentially detects changes. This, I don't know even if it's possible to be honest. So it is just on creation and on the first time it's over there. All right, that's my system. I hope you like it. I mean, that's the way I like to do things. Maybe you do something else. If you have a good system that you would like to share, I would really like to hear from you how you do it because I have really tried a lot, like from just simple lists on paper to just lists in like text editors to stuff like Basecamp and just all sorts of other tools. And really, this is the first one where I feel in control. Literally, I feel in control. And this for me is the most important part because it gives me peace and is anything but stress. All right, if you like this, please like the video, subscribe. And if you have anything to say to this, like, hey, Michael, this is awesome. Michael, this is really stupid. Whatever it is, I would love to hear from you. All right, this was Michael Scherf. Take care, bye.